Hi everybody! It's Tuesday and I've got a surprise for you today. Um, I'm gonna give it just a second to make sure I'm in the right place. Um, you guys, it's getting ready to storm here, so I'm gonna have to be quick with our project today. Um, you know what, I didn't even pull over my, my iPad, so I can't really even see comments. So let me just make sure. I hate to make you sit there. Oh, I see a couple people joining. All right, tell me that I am not in a random place. Tell me, you guys, am I in the right place? Um, this project is so exciting to me, and I think you guys are gonna love it. Um, it's really kind of a funny, and it's definitely an adult gift. Most of my gifts are, are usually surrounded with candy or, you know, some kind of, some little lotion or hand sanitizer, but, okay, I'm not in a random place, Carrie, good. Okay, I'm just gonna pull up my page and make sure that I'm in the right place. Okay, I am. Y'all, you have no idea that feeling <laughs> when you go live in the wrong place, it's terrifying. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump right to it, you guys. We've got storms coming in the area. I wanna get it done before those storms get here and we get kicked off and then everybody will be frustrated. So I can tell by your reaction to my picture this morning that you were just as excited about this project as me. I have to tell you, I was doing some designing on Sunday afternoon. It was rainy. Um, I was trying to come up with some cute, creative things for this set, the Alpine Adventure. Have you guys seen this in the holiday catalog? It's so cute. Um, here are the matching framelits. And um, what's funny is that I am from South Texas, so most of the things in this set I have never touched. I didn't really even know what the name of that is. I had to actually kind of look it up. I was right, I actually knew. Um, so anyway, it was Sunday, I'm like, what can I do with this? What's um, unique? Being creative sometimes is easy and sometimes it's just uh, you know frustrating, but this idea popped in my head and, and I thought, we're gonna make a boozy hot chocolate. That's what I'm calling it. Inside is a little Bailey's right there. And of course it was Sunday, so I don't know about where you guys live, but here the liquor stores are not open on Sunday. So I was like, oh my gosh, I wanted to make it so bad um, that I actually made it with a different little, I had a little tiny liquor bottle that somebody had given me of some kind of coconut something. So I made it with that, praying that the um, Bailey's fit in there and it did fit pretty well. And the funny part is that when I went to the liquor store, first thing Monday morning, um, uh, the guy, I asked him where they were and then he was giving me all different options of what we could use with our hot chocolate. So I ended up going, sticking with the Bailey's, the original, because I feel like that's probably the most traditional thing to go into hot chocolate. Um, but he suggested also Kahlua and um, oh, rum chata. So I actually bought a few just to make sure. But they're still closed, I promise. They haven't, they haven't been tasted. The other important part of our, of our boozy hot chocolate is the hot chocolate and the mini marshmallows. And I saw my downline, Alessandra at, answered the question before I could even get on there. These are the mini marshmallows and I got them at Target, but I'm pretty sure that they're at the grocery stores pretty much anywhere in the hot chocolate area. And then I bought cheap hot chocolate, you know, the cheapest little one that you can get. <laughs> I just ripped a package open and put it in here. Now the test tubes are probably gonna be the tricky thing for you guys to find. If you were around a year ago, you know Stampin' Up! was carrying these and we loved them. Um, they went on the clearance rack for a while and I have about 20 boxes of them um, that I'm gonna use for gifts. Um, however, before, years before Stampin' Up! started carrying these little tubes, I ordered them for my craft fairs from a lab company. Um, and so on my blog right now, I put up a post with all the information on this project, as well as a link to some test tubes that you can buy online. Um, they're plastic, and then you can add on the little stoppers. They have different choices of stoppers. Um, so that's um, where you can get those. If you don't have any of these left over from Stampin' Up! last year, you can get them from this lab company. And I ordered from them for years. Okay, so I'm gonna switch you guys around. Let me make sure I have everything in place. Um, again, this is what we're gonna be making, and I'm calling it the Boozy Hot Chocolate. Hi, ladies. Now, I don't have a fancy schmancy way of flipping you guys around, so I'm just gonna do it like this, and if I accidentally hang on you, which hopefully I won't do, I have to put you in a different holder. If I accidentally end the video for some crazy reason, just find me again, I'll start over. All right, so let me get situated. 
Uh-oh, the weatherman's on the TV. We've got some crazy stuff coming. Hopefully I can get finished before then. Let's move this out of the way, move this up. Here are the measurements right here that you're gonna need. Now don't worry, I do have them on my blog. In fact, right now, let's see, I'm gonna make my video big. I don't wanna hear myself. I just wanna make sure that you guys can see. But if you don't have time to write all this down, don't worry, because I did put it all up on my blog, okay? Um, we're gonna use soft suede cardstock, 10 inches by six and three fourths, and of course, you're gonna need well, my computer's frozen. Hopefully you guys aren't frozen. You're gonna need the Alpine Adventure stamp set with the coordinating framelits. The framelits are so cute, you guys. Um, I love the stamp set, but I think I love the um, framelits even more. They're super cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the holder. Um, I kind of went through a couple of things when I was designing this holder. I wanted it to be simple because these would be really cute um, to make for a party, like a party favor, or um, it says let it snow. So maybe if you go um, snow skiing with friends, you know, this would be a cute little thing to take everybody. So you might wanna make several of them. So I wanted to keep it simple. So I kind of, if you're familiar with my hand sanitizer holders, that's kind of what I designed it. Um, around. Of course, it's much bigger and it holds three things. All right, so let's get started. I know, I know, I'll stop talking. 10 by 6 and 3 fourths is our cardstock, soft suede. We're going to score the long side at half an inch, two inches, four inches, and five and a half. And then we're going to score the short side at one and a half and five and a fourth. All right, so let me move this out of the way. Um, before we put it together, we've got to punch those holes in here. I'm afraid I'm gonna start putting it together without punching those holes in there, so don't let me do that. The first thing I want you to do, though, is punch these guys out right here. These small tabs here, whoops. These small tabs down here on this half inch part. What am I, I'm having a problem with my scissors. All right, now over here, same thing, okay? And then cut the corners off right here. Cut the corners off. And you guys, you know what I forgot to tell you? I've got a prize for sharing the video today. I've got a Buffalo check stamp set. So if you are so feel so inclined to share the video, I will do a drawing on Friday for the Buffalo check background stamp. It is my favorite stamp I would venture to say of all time. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty bold statement, but I really, really love it. Okay, so see what I'm doing here? I'm cutting these score lines along the long side, just like that, okay? Then I'm gonna take these two. Here's our short um, tab right here. Here are the two on the end. I'm actually going to cut them about, about half an inch. So there's about half an inch. Don't worry, that's gonna be tucked in and you're not gonna see it, so just snip it off. It doesn't really matter. It's just gonna make it easier for us to get it in there. All right, now we've gotta make the holes and let me tell you what I came up with. For the test tubes, I used a three-quarter inch circle punch. That three-quarter inch circle punch is a hair too big. To solve that problem, and I can't even pull it out now, I have put a well, you can't see it. Maybe you can see it down in there, a dimensional down in there to keep it in place, okay? Just a hair. Now, and I was telling you that I designed this around a different bottle. I didn't have the Baileys when I designed it. So I went with the one and three eighths inch scallop circle, okay? And it fit the other one really well. This one, it fits, I like it. it doesn't go all the way in, but I like that because then you can see the name. So I kind of thought that was perfect too. All right, so now here on this section is where we want to put our holes. And so that we get our holes exactly in the right place and they're not all wonky and weird, I'm going to punch two three quarter inch circles out of just scrap cardstock. I'm using black so you guys can see it, as well as that one and three eighths scalloped um, circle too. Now take these, these are kind of just your, your template where you want them. And you want to start with that scallop circle, put it there in the middle with some adhesive, 
And then center your other two on either side like that, okay? Now we'll know exactly where to punch. There's no guesswork here. And if this guy gets in the way, you can just fold him in a little bit. But honestly, yesterday, I didn't have any problem. I'm gonna just move the circle a hair bit down because it should fit. Yep, see, just like that. Let me move that up just a tad. That way our punch, we don't have to do any weird finagling with our cardstock. All right, so there's the, there are those holes. Now let's get the one and three eighths scallop circle. And we're gonna punch that one out. Now this Alpine Adventure is my product of the week. I've chosen it to be my focus this week. I love it so much that I thought I would spend the whole week on it. So if you like this project, make sure you've joined my Facebook group page, which I will put, um, I'll put the link up here in the video title when I'm done. Because on Fridays, I have what I call Facebook Friday, and I'm gonna do three more projects using this Alpine Adventure. And if you have the Alpine Adventure, then you'll have four different tutorials, four different projects that you can make. All right, so I'm, I've used my bone folder. It's getting dark and spooky outside. The storms are moving in. I feel like I'm working against a ticking clock today. All right, stay there. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna first start with these middle tabs right here. I'm gonna fold them in, and I'm using Fast Fuse, you guys, um, because I have a ton of it left, and it's awesome. But if you don't have Fast Fuse, I would recommend Tear and Tape on this, or Tombow if you like liquid adhesive. All right, now I'm gonna pull this up, this back side up, and that's gonna just press into that side right there. Okay, now these are gonna wrap around the outside. And the reason I'm doing them around the outside is so that they'll have a smooth edge there on the front. I don't like to see that rough edge like that. I wanna have a smooth edge there in the front. All right, so now we have this weird piece here. And I'm gonna fold it in, and quite honestly, I found yesterday that I didn't really even need that much adhesive on this um, because it's just really kind of holding them in place. Did you see how I did that? I tucked them all in. I put a little bit of adhesive there and folding it in right there. And then I'm gonna make sure it's straight and flush here and just push that in. All right, so that's your basic holder, but we've got this weirdness here. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna cut from this corner to that corner. And if you're really particular about that and you're worried about making a straight cut, then draw a line, use a ruler. <laughs> but I promise you, they're gonna only be looking at one thing when you give this to them. And that's gonna be the booze. Right, guys? They don't care. They really don't. All right, so there's our holder. How cute. Let's see. Let's put our Baileys in. There we go. And then let's get our... Um, you know what, before I do that, before I do that, let's put that DSP there. The DSP is the Festive Farmhouse Designer Series paper, and the backside piece is three and five eighths by two and a half. I love this paper, love it. All right, and the front piece is three and five eighths by one and seven eight. Thanks guys. I'm glad you like it. I was so excited about it. And I don't even, I don't think I've even ever drank Bailey's before, but I know it's good. I just like my heart. No, I take that back. When we were on the Alaskan cruise, I did. If Kay Cogbill's watching, I think we were together when I did that. That was yummy. All right, two little dimensionals on the bottom. And I'm going to slide that one in there and just kind of push it down. And the little marshmallows right there. All right, so there we go, we've got the holder, but we need some cuteness on the front for sure. So I'm gonna use crumb cake cardstock and some soft suede ink, and I'm gonna get the long ski stamp, and I'm gonna stamp it twice. So soft suede on crumb cake. It's the best in coffee. You know what, Lori, I'm not a coffee drinker. 
I try to be a coffee drinker, but I want more of the other stuff. <laughs> you know, the cream, the sugar, the pumpkin spice, and just a tiny bit of coffee. What could you use for under 21 gifts? Joyce, I don't know. You need to make it smaller and just, you know, cut this part out. <laughs> or put, put um, you know, two things of hot chocolate and one thing of marshmallows. All right, this is the snowshoe, right, you guys? Those of you from the north, is that a snowshoe? I feel like that's the right word. Don't judge me. I'm from South Texas. I, uh, I've been a southern girl my whole life. I went skiing one time, and it was fun, but it was cold. All right, this little shoe is Cherry Cobbler, and I'm gonna just stamp it right there in our little ski. Oh, that was terrible. All right, let me do another one. I looked away. Let me get the ski back out. This stamp's really long. This is one of our blocks. This is block I that I rarely use, but I needed it for the ski for sure. There we go, that's better. All right, and then let it snow because if you let it snow, then you can stay inside and have your boozy hot chocolate. All right, let's cut all these out. Let me move my ink pads and close them up so we don't have a disaster. Peppermint sticks, that's a great idea. Rosemary, Rosemary, that is a very good idea. Candy cane pieces, yep. So you could do three, um, three. You know what, I have new plates that I wanna use for this. Let me get those new plates out. You could do three test tubes and just center them on there. That's great, a great idea. I was really going for the over 21 set when I designed this because I feel like everything that I design is you know, for kids, and this is just kind of a fun, guys would probably like it. I know my husband would like it. All right, so there's our ski, and then are you guys going to tell me, snowshoe, is this snowshoe? There we go. World Market still sells, oh, mini syrups for coffee, oh. Denise, that's a very good idea. World Market, yes, it's kind of, I've been there for years, but lately I've just been loving World Market. They have lots of little mini bottles of wine too, so you don't have to buy a whole bottle to try something. You can just get a small, like a one serving bottle, which I've been thinking I need to do something with those because they're really cute. But yeah, the little um, syrups, I bet you're right. I bet you're right, okay. Two skis, snowshoe, Darcy says yes, Jamie says yes, thank you ladies. I, my friend Ange who lives in Canada, I almost messaged her to verify, but then I looked on Pinterest, I typed in snowshoe, <laughs> and I found lots of cute snowshoes. Um, again, I don't know. You could probably ask me about a cactus and I would know what it's called. I don't have a lot of snow here. My girls saw snow for the first time last year. It snowed for about 30 minutes and they thought they had died and gone to heaven. I'm talking and I'm not telling you, this is a cute little scalloped oval that comes in this set. See this? Oh, I wanna point something else out to you as well. Let me get the big shot out of here. I have an extra frame lid in here that does not belong. This one right here is from the Christmas Staircase set. It's in the annual catalog. And I cut two of those ahead of time out of um, shaded spruce. So we're gonna use that. And then I'm going to use, I used this snowflake to um, cut out a shimmer, shimmer white snowflake. Hmm, it's not shimmer white. What's it called? It's called something else now. The, the, the glittery white. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right, let's put it all together. Did I get everything? I think I did. All right, we're going to use a couple of glue dots. And we're going to cross these skis. I'm going to put one like this. And I also feel like this framelit would make great chopsticks. <laughs> I kept thinking that when I was making this, that they looked kind of like chopsticks. All right, let me get my take your pick tool and I'm just going to put a couple of glue dots down here. I love glue dots. You guys use a lot of glue dots? 
Blue dots and dimensionals, I love them. All right, so we've got that. And then I'm gonna do this one kind of standing up a little bit over to the, the side. Shimmery white, is that what it's called, Gail? Shimmery white? I feel like it was called something weird when I looked it up to type it. They changed all of our glimmer papers so that they're thinner now, and they um, things stick to them much better, which is nice. All right, Snowflake's gonna be kind of off to the left side, and then the little bow up to the right, one down to the left, and let's put some dimensionals on top of those just to hold everything in place and to pop it up a little bit. And we're gonna put that right there. And we're almost done, but we can't be done unless we have a, a bow. You guys, it's like nighttime outside. It's so dark. Yikes. I'm glad I went on at 11.30. I thought I was gonna do 12, but I pushed it back half an hour so that we could get it in before the storm. Okay, I need to tell you what I'm doing. This is the braided linen trim. Probably one of my favorite things from the holiday catalog. I am doubling it up so I have two pieces and I'm gonna use both pieces like they're one, okay? So I'm pretending like I just have one in my hand but I'm tying them both at the same time together. That makes a double bow. And I do that when I want something kind of big. All right, and we're just gonna stick that on there. I'm almost out of glue dots. And we are done. So cute. Now, I know my daughter's teacher would love this gift, but I don't think I could send this to school. <laughs> Maybe I'll meet her after school and give it to her, but so cute. I think these are great for party favors, adults, you know, adult parties. Um, if you had like a bunko group, um, it would just be really fun. The Baileys were about 250, I believe. Let me grab the other one. Um, well, here it is. And the guy at the liquor store did tell me about one that was just like Baileys that was cheaper, like a dollar cheaper, and he said he liked it better. But I felt like the Baileys, I don't know, it has the cherry cobbler label on it, it was just perfect. But here, this one would fit also, rum chata. Right, and the Kahlua. So you decide what you think your friends would like the best. And you've got several months to get these made, right? Well, these could even go past Christmas, just, you know, whenever it's cold. All right, you guys, don't forget to join me. Look, here's, a, here's a, one of the projects I'm gonna make on Friday. I'm using some embossing paste. So make sure you join me on Friday over on my group page. You gotta go over there and jo uh, click join. Everybody is welcome. I've got three more projects using the wonderful Alpine Adventure. And don't forget to share the video and I will put you in a drawing for the Buffalo Check background stamp. Thanks so much, you guys. Hop over to my blog for all the measurements and I will see you on Friday. Have a great week. Bye.